Welcome to another video. Today, I want to quickly talk about the topic of how you can import and export character data. So for example, you have created your character already or you played your character for a long time and you configured all the stuff in, in the character configuration menu, in the system menu and set up your interface properly, your hotbars, all the settings, all the stuff you have set up collapsing hotbars, for example. All that can be copied to another character as well. Of course, for the collapsing hotbar system, that's a bit problematic because you need to unlock certain classes first to have access to the whole system and idea behind it. But on the other hand, that's very handy if you start a new character from scratch and still want your paladin skills on the same spot that you have your paladin skills later on, on high level characters and your first character, for example. Which comes in handy when you start multiple characters, of course, and it's kind of really easy to import that and export that. So let's go through the process. The first thing I want to, or I actually recommend doing is create a character, but not log in yet. So basically you've finished your character creation and then open up your folder. Now we need the folder where our character files are saved. Most of the times these are saved onto your data drive on which you have your operating system installed. For example, in my case, it's C Crystal, where I have my Windows 11 installation. So here Final Fantasy 14 will automatically create a folder that's Final Fantasy 14. You have to navigate towards that and that's always the case like you go into the folder itself then under user that's Benutzer here in German. Um, then onto your user which is in my case this one here. Yeah and then you go to documents. That's all German sorry if, if that's any distracting but it's kind of the same documents, documente, it's very similar. Then you go to my games and there you will find a Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn folder, which is this one here. And as you can see, there's a lot of folders and other data. But what's only interesting for us right now are these folders here. These are your characters or the characters that you logged into with on your computer now. So all the characters you log into on your computer. And now, keep that in mind, maybe remember those numbers here. Now if we log into this character here, this new character, then you will have, we just go through something here just to make it happen very quickly. Uh, yeah, goblin um, test file. Does that work? Oh, what a poor name. I'm sorry, test file. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you log in with that character. And once you do that, I'm not sure how long it takes. Uh, it might already have happened. Yeah. It did already happen here and we're still in the waiting queue. But as you can see from the time now, we have 9.29 a.m. here in Germany. And this is the file that just had been created. And that's basically the file of the new character, which is test file here. And here you can see all the settings that are basically the default settings. And now if you just want your character settings from your main character or other characters being imported, you just try to navigate towards the folder that you know where your main character is. And of course, you can also just find it out by logging in with that character and checking what has changed here. And once that is done, for example, this is my character file from another character that already imported my main character, Desperia's files. And you can already always check this at the file size. The file size is always a good indication of how much you configured that. Of course, if you have multiple characters that are configured differently, you will have a bit of a problem figuring out which one is the, the bigger one. But here you can definitely see the difference. That's the new character, which only has one megabyte of, of data. A megapint which means, yeah, your interface is not configured. You don't have many UI stuff. You don't have many macros. And this one here is one of the main characters. This is not Dispira, but another character that already imported all the stuff that Dispira uses as well. So you just click onto that folder and click on everything here. Just copy everything here. Copy that. Of course, you have to log out with your character again. So that's what you need to do first. Remember that this is the default interface now, which looks like this. And now we log out again. And now we can copy the files. And yeah, you can also do that while the game is still running. So it's not a problem. Just go to this folder. This is the new character that we just created. And we 
copy everything here and replace all the files in there. And now when we log in with the new character, you should have all your settings copied over to the other character. And of course that also works for uh, characters that your friends have or if you want to uh, start up onto an, a new PC. You do have this copy and backup feature of Final Fantasy XIV but it doesn't work for new characters, only for your whole account. So if you start new characters you always have to do this in the process or maybe if you want favorite streamer or a friend you want to import some data and want to have the same interface like they do. Some people ask me about that already and I have copied my data files and save files and configurations multiple times already. This is a very good opportunity to do so. Just copy these files into the characters folder and you have everything applied. As you can see here, this is exactly how my interface looks on Disappear. You can check that by having the collapsing hotbar feature, which is kind of tricky to set up, but here it is. It just doesn't work because we don't have these classes available already and need to, yeah, unlock them first. But everything else is basically the same like it is on this PRS interface. I, I just reconfigured that yesterday. So um, yeah, this is definitely in the same order and configuration as on my main character. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can copy all the data from one character to another and comes in very handy if you have multiple characters and don't want to go through all the hot layout stuff and all the macros reconfiguration. And you can see it here. These are all the macros that I'm using on Disperia, just on this character as well. And you don't have to set it up another time. So yeah, I hope this is helpful for some of you. And if you have any tips or recommendations how to make this even easier, or if you think there are problems with it or something doesn't work on your end, please let me know in the comments section or check out our Discord, which I will link in the description. You can always ask for help there. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And if you like, just join me on my hardcore leveling experience on Twitch, which is also found in the description. Have a nice day. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep loving Final Fantasy.